In this video, we're going to continue looking at our dynamic block commands, and we're going to continue to develop our door symbol that we were creating. In the last video, I told you to go ahead and add the function to where we can stretch the width of our wall by adding some additional parameters and actions. So let's just go ahead and test our block. You can see that I have a stretch parameter here that I can stretch to make the wall width wider. And in association with that, I also have a flip action here that I can click on the icon or the grip and I can flip my door to be on the other side of the opening. What we're going to look at today is having the ability to change our base point. Because if you notice right now our base point is at the hinge line of the door. But if we flip our door then our base point doesn't move with it. Also you can see that in place of our base point where it is, where it's located over here is now where my stretch is located and, and until I stretch off of that base point I don't even see it. So if I have a door that's three foot wide I can't even see my base point. So here's what we're going to do to fix this. Let's close our test block window. What we want to do is go over to our block orthering palette and if you look on the block orthering palette under parameters there's one called base point. So let's add a base point definition to the hinge line of our block. And what we need to do is we need to add this base point to our selection set in our flip actions. If we select our flip action, and I'm going to show you a little shortcut here. If we open up our properties palette, we have selection set and it says 10 objects. And this is just another way, another place where we can add to our selection set. So we can select where it says selection set and notice we have the three little dots here. If we click it we look down at the command line and it says to specify selection set for action and we have the option to do a new or to modify. And I'm going to just do a modify and I'm going to add my base point and hit enter. I need to do the same thing for the one that flips it to the other side of the wall. So I'm going to select it and it says six objects. I'm going to tell it to add. I'm going to tell it to modify and then I'm going to add the base point as well. And then I'm going to test my block. Notice we have our insertion point now, our base point that we added. We can drag and move the, the door block around. If we flip our door, now the base point is on the other side. And if we flip it to the other side of the wall, again it moves with it. So now we have the ability to to grip our door and drag its base point no matter which way we have our door flipped. Well this concludes this lesson and just continue to work on developing your dynamic blocks and giving them as much intelligence as possible.